Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well, hot off the heels of the last BBC scandal, we've got another one. Seems the BBC is investigating one of its own journalists for saying Hitler was right. I mean, what the actual f- I'm guessing this is gonna hit the BBC quite hard, especially after the Diana interview scandal. I mean, it's like they're trying to say, everybody, I need your help. Please defund me now. No, sir, stop. It's don't defund me. Ah, thank you, Tibble. Oh no, my time is- Okay, as many of you will know, I don't actually have a dedicated upload schedule. So the best way to see my videos, as soon as I put them online, is by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, this story's from The Sun, and it says BBC investigating one of its journalists who wrote, Hitler was right. What a stupid thing for them to say. I mean, working for an impartial news station, or more like, <clears throat> impartial, and then coming out with something as silly as that. Anyway, Palestinian affairs specialist Tala Halawa, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, has been covering the recent conflict in Gaza. In 2014, she tweeted that Israel, now I've got to be careful how I say this because I don't want YouTube's computer to pick up that I'm saying something that I'm obviously not, is more Nazi than Hitler and told the Israel Defence Force to go to hell. Okay, just to let you know, I'm unfortunately not aware of what the situation was in Israel in 2014. And I also don't know what it is over there at the minute either. And I'm not trying to defend her at all with what I'm about to say, so please don't take it as if I am. But I cannot find anywhere in this article where she said those words, that Hitler was somehow apparently right. Although that may be her opinion, and she may have said that in a previous post. Hitler was completely bonkers and a nutcase in my opinion. And I'm really glad we defeated him. But what she did do in my opinion was quite disrespectful because she seemed to say that another country was somehow worse than Hitler. And you cannot say those sort of things on a public funded broadcasting station, whether that's your opinion or not. And that is what the BBC seems to have a lot of trouble with, isn't it? Stars often given their opinions out and also not being impartial when they should be. Her historic post was uploaded online by the Honest Reporting Twitter Media Monitoring Group. Try saying that three times faster when you're drunk. The group posted, Hallower directly influences and creates content watched by millions around the world. And in that world, can someone like this work for a professional news outlet? Well, it's the BBC. I don't know if it comes under that term. However, the BBC said... The tweets predates her joining, adding, nevertheless, we are taking this very seriously and investigating. Well, if it predates her joining the BBC, shouldn't someone pick this up during the application process? Surely there are some checks that get done before they give you a job. Although Gary Lineker works with, <coughs> for, the BBC, so who knows? Anyway, let me know what you think. Here are some of my other videos for you to watch next. If you're a legend, click that like button down there. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.